my name is Martin Kennedy. I'm a dairy farmer here at Tipperary. I'm farming in partnership with my parents. We are making 230 cows on a spring calving system. We farm 120 acres in total. Our grazing platform is 150 acres and then the rest of our land is fragmented between three other different blocks on it. We're farming here for about four or five generations at least. The land is split in two, so the biggest block of land is currently where we're farming. Previously we had our dairy operation on the smaller block of land where we, we had 100 cows. We've grown the cow numbers from 100 cows to 230 cows in the last 10 years or so. We relocated and built a greenfield dairy farm in 2006 and we've continued on building since. We currently have accommodation for 220 cows on the farm and we have all the ancillary works including the 24 unit milking parlor. And if we expand again we'll have to invest more on it so we'll see how things go on that front. When we first built the farm we put in a 14 unit full wood milking machine that was in 2006. On that milking machine we had auto ID, we had feed yield, we had pretty much was a fairly high spec milking machine on it. Since then we upgraded the milking machine in 2019 to from 14 units to 24 units. When we were upgrading the milking machine, we got software updated as well on the milking machine. I suppose the issue we had was if we went with the collars, we would have had two different systems working the milking machine and we'd have to decide which one to do our drafting off of. So we decided then that the AFI system was the route to go, which integrated everything and we had all of it on the one system. So we were able to run our milking machine from the AFI software while the AFI collars were ran on the same software as well. So we had a lot of feeds of information coming into the one. It also streamlined things for me because I was able to work by looking at the one terminal, the one screen to see all information relating to the cows. It has the health monitoring, it has their milk production, it has their feeding, it has their drafting, and it has their fertility, say heat detection, etc., all in the one terminal when we look at it. So to me, that was very important because it was a time-saving tool. So the question I'm often asked is, is why have we put collars in the cows? The labour. Labour issues is probably the biggest reason for it, but also the monitoring of the cows during the breeding season and also during and general health monitoring on it. Say on the fertility side of things, the breeding season for six weeks it was very intense. We were ending up looking at cows before milking. We were having to tail pain cows. We are looking at cows at, during the day. We are looking at cows before we let them in in the evening time. We are looking at cows again at night. So it was quite time consuming. It, in my opinion, the breeding season is probably more intense than the calving season. How the collars have changed the breeding season is that there is no more looking at cows during the day or outside of milking times for heat detection on it. When we let in the cows in the morning and in the evening time, we have an up-to-date report of what cows are on heat and what time it is to use. So the, the big benefit for me as a farmer is, is that I don't, I'm not losing time and time is very important because we don't have the labour. But outside of the breeding season, the system would be used to monitor the health on the cows on us. So again, if we have a problem, if I don't milk the cows, or if I'm gone away, I can see it on the app or I can see it on the computer. If there's an issue with the cow's health on it, it's saving time. It's getting us to get to cows quicker than when they're off farm and we're able to deal with the issue. And ultimately we're going to face issues about the amount of antibiotics we can use. So if we can get to a cow and treat them quicker and sooner, we mightn't have to use as much antibiotics. So I do again see a benefit coming long term from having the collars on the cows and the interaction with the milk machine. We're getting a full picture of the cow's health. We're not just getting a snapshot in certain parameters. We're actually seeing the amount of, we can see if their milk has been impacted, we can see if their mastitis issues, we can see the rumination issues, we can see their eating time, and we can see their motion. So like, we have a full picture of the cow's health all the time. And if there's a problem, we're learning about it quicker than we can visually see it ourselves as ours person. I would say the first benefit was on the fertility side of things, it gives us the right information for the right cows when to AI them at the right time. So that's number one benefit to me. Number two benefit is, is the real-time information on the fat and the protein and lactose content of the milk. It's giving me the information to see how my management is affecting my output of milk solids. The third benefit of the system is the overall health monitoring. It's like having a permanent herdsman 
walking around through your cows, you're able to get a full picture of all the rumination, of all the eating time with the cows. That's also married in with their production and the conductivity of the milk. So we have all aspects of their health covered from that.